What's up guys, we're back here on Cold War Zombies and today we're going to be getting the Wakasashi Dark Aether. Now I already have a decent amount of these camos done, I don't remember doing them, I think I might have done it right when it came out. But it shouldn't take us too long, I have almost everything done, we need to get all of our infection camos which I think will be probably be the hardest, considering we have to get 20 or more consecutive kills without getting hit using a melee weapon. So for that I will be using Frost Blast, I think I could use Toxic Growth as well to get them stuck in there, but Frost Blast will probably be more consistent. So let's go ahead and hop into a game i'm already toting and get this done and also in my last video i had a few comments asking if i was tired or saying i look tired and i am tired i do work nights and i've been trying to grind out content before i leave on this trip for you guys so it's been quite a grind but you know I i'm just trying to get as much work done as possible before i leave right, i have not used this in zombies in a long time i can't even remember the last time i used it but melee weapons and zombies are always a fun time but i think we need to work on our infection camo here getting the 20 kills without getting hit so it's probably gonna be way easier to start rather than later when there's more zombies and they're a lot faster and stronger so we're gonna focus on that to start and i think i'm gonna stay here till about round five for this loose change i just need six more kills for one of the camos oh what did he hit me there or was that fall damage dang i was trying to like assassin's creed him jump down on top of him and get him okay it was fall damage i don't know if that that counts or not for this hopefully it doesn't hopefully it's not like social distancing this thing has more range than you think actually okay we have 24 kills now so i think that fall damage did count which is very unfortunate. So I can't take any damage. I guess it's back to square one. But what I'm most excited for to see with this katana is what does it look like pack-a-punched? I'm sure it looks amazing. I'm just obsessed with the pack-a-punch camos on this map. I, I, I'm just so happy they added new ones. Oh, max ammo, perfect. I was starting to get worried. Oh, that's Jackrabbit. That should be a camo or at least progress towards one. All right, but it is round five. We got a decent amount of change. Let's go ahead and cross over grab this loose change Ooh, actually i haven't thought about trying to kill a tempest or anything with just a sword or when we hit round 10 it's gonna be tough to take down that panzer oh there we go so we're, we are doing something right we got the corrosion camo oh he hit me right as i was getting him gotta restart i do want to try to get the 20 kills without getting hit Oh, of course I get hit as I'm saying it before I go into the Tempest because I'm sure the Tempest is going to at least do like some sort of splash damage or something back. But, but we did just get hit. So we might as well try to find the Tempest and take it out before we, we start up a whole nother chain of zombies. There's our boy. Yep. Instantly got me. Oh, it only took three slices. That's nice. Grab this loose change. And I don't want to head down the sewer way because I know I'll take fall damage. So let's go down the train way. Let's try to race it across. Perfect. What? Oh, that's so stupid. The flaming corpse of that zombie blocked the doorway. That reset us. All right, well, I'll grab that loose change. Let's go get power on. Oh, here's the other Tempest. There we go. All right, we got both fuses. I think that's actually the first time I got both fuses before going to the power room. Oh, maybe Frenzied Guard would be good too. I just thought about it. Oh, we can always switch. All right, well, I want to pack a punch as fast as possible because when that Panzer comes, it's going to be really difficult to take it out with just a base sword. And this Disciple is probably going to be really hard to take out too. I wonder if you can freeze it. Oh, that just instantly killed everything. They, they got too little health. Let me try to get them. Oh, that's not bad. It's a three hit. All right, now for the moment I've been waiting for. What does this look like? Oh, that's nice. It even made the handle... Ooh, I accidentally threw the C4. Let me get that back. But it even made the handle red. I don't have any blueprint on this sword. So I know there is one with a red handle, but this looks very nice. Now, what ammo mod do I put on this? I'm thinking even though Dead Warrior is kind of booty now... Maybe we do dead wire. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and grab dead wire. Oh, actually, yeah, dead wire. I was thinking about maybe we should go for Klaus, but that seems like a hassle. Get it green, get it blue, and we'll have to wait for pink. I think something that's gonna help us a lot too is stamina up. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick that up. There we go. Now I know when taking fall damage for social distancing, even if you have stamina up where you would have taken fall damage, it does count. So I'm not gonna risk it for this camo and jump down. I'll just stay up here and get my melee kills this way. And there we go. That's another camo. Get this last kill. Oh, he hit me during it. All right, grabbing the nuke. I'm gonna get quick revived as well because I feel like I have a much better chance of going down just using this sword. Actually, I'm gonna go ahead and change my field upgrade now. Where's Frenzied Guard? Oh no, I don't have a class with Frenzied Guard. That's not good. All right, well, I guess I'm stuck with Frost Blast. Hey, there's the rotten camo. We're all done with our normal kills. You just gotta really pay attention to not getting hit. That is key for getting these camos done. 
Oh my god. <laughs> Every time I talk about not getting hit, I get hit instantly. All right, round 10. I know the Panzer's coming here. I just got to be ready for him. All right, where's he spawning at? I want to go right for him. Here he is. Here's our boy. Ooh, he's actually taking crazy damage. He's already gone? Let's go. That was way easier than I was expecting. Dude, playing zombies with a melee weapon is actually really fun. We're just slicing through all these guys. Don't have to worry about any kind of ammo, nothing. Just living life. I think we're going to need Jug for sure. Maybe we should just get Elemental Pop. We don't really need Speed Cola or Deadshot. Yeah, I'll get Elemental. Oh, Brain Rotted them right off rip. Dude, he's literally just camping them the second they come in. Oh, now he's gone. Here goes my hero. The Deadwire is kind of nice with this, actually. I wonder if those Deadwire kills are counting for this camo. Come on up. Don't be shy. All right, we have a thousand now. I'm going to go ahead and upgrade my armor. I feel like that's going to be really important for using a melee weapon. Okay, armor level two. And now I'm just going to be saving my money for Pack-A-Punch. I want to see what this looks like with all the Pack-A-Punch tiers. <laughs> the spot's kind of cheese for melee weapons. Anything that crawls up here, you can kill before it's even able to hit you. There we go. And we're done with the Pack-A-Punch kills. Oh, and a Contamination Camo. We're almost done with those too. Oh, no. I just got hit like 14 times there. This is getting 20 kills without getting hit is getting a little more difficult. And how do I have 158 crits? How do you crit somebody with a sword? I don't remember seeing a single crit pop up. There we go. Glitch. That's one of the last ones. Oh, we have enough to get pack punch too. Let's check that out. Ooh, very clean. Look at that. See, the handle did change the green. I like that a lot. Uh oh. Like how she says, disciples, I call upon you, but then she sends out tormentors. Gosh, this is a $60 game. Oh my God. Uh-oh, I hear a panzer. Am I gonna be able to take him out now? I hope so. Where's he at? Oh, the turret's got him. Get him, turret. It's going in on him, actually. I, it's constantly firing on him. He's not moving. Look at it go. It killed him. Let's go. I didn't have to do anything. Dude, shout out those turrets. Why does the panzer just stand there and take it? Maybe it wasn't like aggroed on me yet or like the turret was stunning it. But is that the strat to take out panzers? I mean, obviously I didn't do that on purpose, but maybe you could like lead one in there and turn the trap on for the turret. I want to try that next time. Oh, there's the camo. Is that it? No, we got to be like one away. You really haven't had to use our field upgrade so far. We've used it like right at the beginning when we were trying to get Pack-A-Punch ready. That's about it. I think Frenzy Guard definitely would have helped out, but I do not have it on a class. I need to go ahead and switch up my classes after this game. And make sure I have one of each field upgrade. Let's see Pack-A-Punch 3. That's nice. The gold on the handle. I don't really like the, the yellow pinkish green, but once it turns all purple like that, oh yeah, that's a good camo. I wonder if it's even possible to get the 20 kills without getting hit anymore. Maybe I'll try running around and training instead of sitting up there. I can stun these guys. Do one of these. Oh, wait, there we go. Oh, wait, do I need to get kills while enemies are stunned? Did I just now realize that was a challenge? Where's the boundary cam of the last one for that? I really should have paid attention to what I had to do. Oh, wait, actually, if they got to climb up here, this is probably a good spot. I think I know a better spot they have to climb up at. All right, in the middle of that last game, my power went out. I think I lost all progress on the sword. Let's go ahead and check. Oh, wait, add my rotten camo. Oh, it saved my camo progress. Let's go. All right, we're still in business. Okay, so I just need to get kills with a sword while using stun grenades, monkey bombs, or decoys. So let's go ahead, hop back in and get that done. And I'm also gonna make sure that I have frenzy guard on a class. And I guess I'll make one for energy mine. Do I have an aether shroud one? All right, I think I have one of each now. All right, hopping back in. All right, taking our walk of shame for the second dark aether video in a row. This time it's not our fault. So that whole time I was going for kills without getting hit. And all I needed to do was stun or distract them. I need to pay attention to my camos when I go into it. Well, I guess with most like actual guns in this game, you don't really need to. You can just kind of pop in and play and make sure you go for headshots. But with melees, there's a little different challenges you got to do. None of them have dropped stuns yet. Not even a single tactical. Somebody's got to have one this round right now. All right, I guess not. Can I buy one now. I can only buy a stim, of course. I'm pretty sure the last thing I was doing before my power went out. Actually, it's kind of funny. I have to turn power on in zombies now. The last thing I was doing before the power went out was I was going to show you guys the spot I was thinking of. And it's right over here. First, I'm going to boost change. It's right here. This is perfect for getting kills without getting hit. I think this only really works early rounds. I don't know if uh, you can really survive too long with a sword up here. Uh, it doesn't have the fast swing speed of the E-tool. But... 
it still works pretty good here at round five. I just need one of these zombies to drop a stun for me, please. Also, I'm going to go ahead and put on Frenzied Guard. I'll get all these kills while we have a double points. All right, where are you at, Tempest? There he is. Perfect. Oh, there's no time to cross. Come here, Tempest. Good night. All right, with these last two zombies, I'm going to try to buy a stun. And we'll take them out and get some progress here. Perfect. Let's make sure we get all of our zombies together first. All right, we can do it right here. I'm going to go in. Perfect. I just got to keep that up. Now let's turn power on. Perfect. What's up, Klaus? Let's start up Pack-A-Punch. I'm going to try to get him right as he's done with his little, his little show. <gasps> no, he flew away. Got him. All right, let's go for it. Oh, no. Okay, there we go. There's another camo, so a decoy. Oh, yeah, you guys like that, don't you? Oh, there's another stun on the ground. Perfect. Let's throw it from here. That's a good bit. Hey, there's Gold Viper. All right. All right, now that we have Dark Aether on this, I'm going to try to exfil at 11, so I'll cut to when I'm there. And then we're going to go ahead and hop into a quick little custom match, and I'll show you guys what Dark Aether looks like on the sword. All right, really quick for science, I'm going to show you that you can get this Panzer down with just a tower. So I'm going to go ahead and buy the trap. Ooh, look at that. Taking everything out. Let's try to get the Panzer into it. Let's try to lead him there. There we go. Once he starts getting shot by it, he kind of gets, like, stunned. So if you want some easy Panzer kills, just lead him over here. All right, let's exfil. Perfect. Now we have a long run ahead of us. All right, let's try to take them all out. Oh, they got some hops. Frenzy guard, let's go. Did it already run out? No, I think it's still going. Hold on. All right, now it ran out. So let's hit him with a little monkey. How many do we get out of this? Basically the whole thing. There's one zombie left. 360 him. Oh, wait. I can do that better. 360? Ah, uh, there's still more zombies spawning though. Let's get out of here. Now, before we hop in game, this is what it looks like with Gold Viper. Honestly, kind of decent on the sword. Still not my favorite. Plague Diamond's very clean. That blade is flawless. And Dark Aether is so nice. All right, let's go hop in game and see what it looks like. All right, this is what it looks like in game with Dark Aether. Right now, it's currently just in the blackout phase. We don't get a, a clean look at it. But in the gunsmith, it looks pretty cool. Let's just give it a second. Maybe maybe it's a little shy. I'm gonna get some color on it. This part of the blade, the blade that shows when you're running with it, looks very nice. Now we're getting some color over here. This looks awesome. Dark Aether is probably one of the best looking mastery camos out there. And and it definitely looks great on the sword as well. But I think I'm going to end the video here. If you guys like this, you want to see more, go ahead and leave a like on it. Uh, if you didn't, you don't dislike. If you're new here, please consider subscribing for all kinds of Kyra content throughout the week. And that's going to be it for me. I'll see you guys next time. Later.